What's up guys, Matt from the Football Boots team and today I am finally back with another Boot Hacks video because I can almost guarantee that a lot of you guys have got some brand new football boots just like these ones here. So today's episode is going to be looking at the best and most unique ways to break in those brand new boots. So let's go. Football boots with collars. It seems like 90% of footballers these days, both young and old, want a pair of football boots with a collar added on. The Phantom 3DS, the Predators, the Superflyers all have collars and a lot of you guys want those boots. Now, whilst it might look very cool, these collars can start out a little bit stiff. So what are the best ways to make them a little bit softer right away? Well, there's two main products that you guys can use. Firstly, fabric softener. Secondly, hair conditioner, and both of them work amazingly to help soften those collars. Of course, firstly, you're gonna to need to ask your mum for the fabric softener or hair conditioner. A little bowl or ramekin to put some warm water in, and then you need to put about a spoonful of the fabric softener or the hair conditioner inside, and then give it a little bit of a mix around. Now you've got your solution, you're ready to soften up the collar. Now you need to use your fingers for this. Don't use any type of brush because it might be a little bit too aggressive and start to pull at the individual threads. So using your hands and fingers is the very best way to do this. So dip your fingers into the solution and then massage that collar very softly and then gradually get a little bit more aggressive as you go on. Don't be afraid to get the collar very wet. All it's gonna do is dry out and become softer. So wetter the better in this circumstance. Now, once you've got it all massaged into that collar, make sure that all of that solution is actually washed out. So you can just give the collar a little bit of a rinse out with some warm water again, and then leave to dry overnight. And once you get back to the boot in the morning, hopefully you guys can feel that that collar area has actually become a little bit softer, making the boots easier to put on and also giving you a less aggressive feel around the ankle. All right, so you guys are probably wondering why I'm wearing my girlfriend's pink fluffy socks. Well, it's for one of our boot breaking hacks and all you need for this one are some thick socks and a hairdryer. First step is putting on the socks and lacing up the boots. The boots are now laced up and this hack is actually dead simple. All you need to do is now the boots are laced up, put the hairdryer onto the hottest setting and then hairdry for five minutes per boot. So the hair drying process is now finished. But while we're wearing thick socks, boots on feet and also just giving them a hair dryer on the hottest setting. Well, the reason is because we're wearing these thick socks, is packing out the boots inside, making them stretch a little bit. And that hot setting from the hairdryer is making that upper a little bit softer, so it's gonna stretch. Now what you need to do is actually just sit still for about 10 to 20 minutes, so the boots are gonna keep its new shape, which are a little bit more stretched out than original. So what you guys are about to see is probably the biggest cheat way to break in your football boots. And it means you don't even have to wear them. So let's take a closer look at the shoe stretcher. So as its name suggests, the shoe stretcher stretches out the shoe. And in this case, it's a football boot. But how does it actually work? Well, all you need to do is put the contraption inside the boot. Now, once you've got it in place, all you need to do is start to turn the little toggle, which lengthens that contraption. Now, the idea is to give it enough tension to stretch out that toe box and also the heel region. And although this is a video on how to break in your boots, you could also use this contraption if you wanted to give your boots half a size more or a full size more in length. The main trick with the shoe stretcher is patience. It's not going to work in one or two hours. You need to do it for a couple of days. Firstly, you put the tension onto a little bit just so it's giving it a bit of stretch. And then after some several hours, you can then even extend the shoe stretcher even more. So it's giving it a little bit more tension and thus making the boots even more broken in. But if you guys can't get hold of a shoe stretcher or simply don't want to use one, there is an alternative and that's by using newspaper. Now, very similar to the shoe stretcher with the newspaper, stuff it into the boot right to the toe very tightly and you pack it in all the way to the heel. Now, once you've left that newspaper inside the boot for 24 hours, you can then add some more pieces of newspaper, giving the boots a little bit more stretch. So the first time you wear them, they're gonna fit a little bit more forgiving. All you need for this hack are your brand new pair of boots, some water and a pair of socks you don't mind getting soaking wet. Now the idea for this one is to get the socks soaking wet, the boots soaking wet as well, 
put them both together, wear them on feet, and then wear them for about half an hour or so to soften up the inner material and also the upper itself. It's actually a very simple process. Get the sock soaking wet, get the boot soaking wet, put them on and then go for a run for half an hour or for however long you want to do so. The more time you actually spend inside the boots running around in those wet socks and boots is going to make them even softer. And also a nice little trick is if you want a very barefoot feel, you can actually play football with wet football socks. This is something that a lot of German footballers do, especially the likes of Bastian Schweinsteiger. Now, the reason we're showing you this hack is because a lot of the common breaking methods only treat the upper, so the outside of the boot. But what's actually happening inside? Can we actually create a little bit of stretch and softening inside the boot itself? Well, by making the inside of the boot incredibly wet, it's gonna soften those materials and fibers, making the boots feel even softer inside as well as the outside. This next hack absolutely saved me. When these Mizuno Rebelers got delivered, I had to test and review them the very next day. But the problem was they fit half a size too small. So what could I do in 24 hours to give myself a little bit more room inside the boot so I could go out and test them? Well, there is the freezer hack and all you need to do this trick is a sandwich bag, some water, or if you need even more space, some fizzy drink. So we're gonna show you exactly how to do the freezer hack by using these items. So you guys have got your brand new pair of boots, you're ready to break them in, but they are so tight you don't even want to because they're gonna give you blister or be very uncomfortable. So what you need to do is freeze them. Now it's not as simple as putting your boot in the freezer and expecting it to just grow half a size or a full size. That's not how it works. What you need to do is fill a sandwich bag with some water about three quarters of the way full and push it into that toe box area. Now, once you've done that, you put it into the freezer overnight, even longer if you want to, up to 24 hours, and that water, when it freezes, expands. And that means that the upper is actually gonna stretch over time. So once it's been in there, take it out, take out the sandwich bag as well, make sure that the boot warms up a little bit, and then you are gonna find that the boot itself fits about half a size bigger than it originally did. Now, when I intro this hack, I said you can use fizzy drink as well. Now, the reason you can use fizzy drink is if the boots are way too small. You've bought them online and for some reason, you can't take them back. There's no refund. So what do you do? You can't play in a pair of football boots a full size too small. So if you do the exact same process, but instead of using water, you now use a fizzy drink. And the reason we do this is because it expands even more so than water. So repeat the exact same process, put some Coke, Sprite, lemonade, whatever you want inside that sandwich bag, put inside the freezer, leave for 24 hours, take it out, and the boot itself, leather or synthetic, is gonna be a little bit more stretched out compared to its original state. This next hack is for all the lazy players out there. You've just got your brand new pair of boots and you can't be bothered to properly break them in. You're sitting on the sofa, feet up watching TV. Is there anything you can do to help the boots break in a little bit? Well, there is. If you wanna just give them a little bit of minimal breaking, you can just flex the boots in hand. The upper and sole plate, when they're brand new, can just be a little bit stiff. So giving them a wiggle and a little bit of flex is just gonna ease up that sole plate and upper material ever so slightly. This next hack is the absolute classic. The hot water trick made famous by Cristiano Ronaldo. Now there's two variations of the hot water trick. So we're gonna show you both and then you guys can decide which one you'll prefer to do on your own pair of football boots. So the two variations of the hot water trick is doing it in hand or on feet. Now the first method which we're gonna show you is the one in hand. And all you need to do this one is the pair of boots that you wanna break in quickly and the sink which can run hot water. So you've got your boots in the sink and you've also got the water running. Now the temperature that you want the water is about seven or eight out of 10. You don't want it too hot because this can weaken the glue where the sole plate meets the upper and cause premature sole separation. Now the idea is to put these boots underneath the hot water and massage the upper. But that's not the end. Once you've spent five to 10 minutes on each boot, give them a quick pat dry and then stuff them tightly with newspaper. But that's only if they're synthetic or knitted football boots. At this point, you can then just leave aside in a cool dry area to dry naturally, not by a radiator or indirect sunlight. But if you have leather football boots, it is a little bit different. Again, quick pat dry and then stuff them with newspaper. But finally, you need to apply some leather cream or some dubbing to make sure that, that beautiful natural leather upper doesn't crack and stays luxuriously soft. 
Method number two is the on feet version. It's a little bit different, but essentially the same. You need to have a bucket big enough to put your feet in, and this time the boots are actually laced up on feet. Again, you want your water temperature to be about seven or eight out of 10. Firstly, because of the whole sole separation, and secondly, you don't want it to burn your skin. So you've got your boots laced up and also placed inside our big bowl. You've got a lot of your hot water ready to pour in. And the reason you need a lot is because you want the whole boot to be submerged. So you're now ready to pour in that hot water. Now, once it is at the level that you actually desire, you need to leave your feet inside this hot water for approximately 10 minutes. You're counting down in 10 minutes and the time is finally up. So what do you guys do now? We'll keep the boots laced up. And if you've got a garden or any area that you can keep wearing the boots, then do that for another half an hour or so. Walk around the garden, or if you're doing it on a football pitch, then have a little run as well. Do some football movements, because this is going to actually make the upper even softer. So guys, there it is, our boot breaking hacks video. Hope this has given you some good ideas that you can try on your own brand new pair of boots that you want to break in, or maybe you've got some boots which are fitting too small and you want to get a little bit more space. If you would try some of these hacks we've shown you, give the video a big thumbs up. But if you would never try any of these, then give it a dislike. But guys, that's it for the day. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Cheers. My girlfriend is going to kill me for wearing her socks. <laughs>